Hi guys, it's Almanza and I'm back again to read to you another reading another lesson from the Good News Daily. If you haven't already, download the Good News Daily PDF format to all your digital devices at goodnewsworld.com. <laughs> it's many, many languages over there. And you know, they're at the bottom of every book, there's a prayer line. The Good News World Helplines. You got in you um let me see if it's gonna focus. Okay, yeah, you got USA, UK, and Africa. I think RSA is Africa. So anyway, let us go ahead and get started. Today's text is power of the word. Power of the world. Good News Daily is written by a highly esteemed prophets, Prophet Hubert Angel and Prophetess B.B. Angel. And my spiritual parents, as the Bible tells us, to obey our spiritual parents. So obey our parents in the Lord. So we have parents in the Lord, spiritual parents. That is why I have them. I know I've gotten comments before about uh, mentioning my, my spiritual parents. But just like you have natural parents, you have parents of your spirit, your birth, right? your born again experience so it says obey your parents in the lord hmm. think about it i know it's been overlooked and misquoted obey your parents in the lord so it's like god is telling me twice in that scripture to obey my parents my natural parents but it says in the lord so that's why i always give honor to them um, as mentors, life coaches, I really honor them as spiritual parents. I listen to them, tune into every broadcast. I'm full, moving with everything that they're moving with, progression. I'm a partner. I am grateful for all that they do because through them, I can reach Africa. You know how many families I fed in Africa? How many widows I fed in Africa? Have I went over there and done it personally? No, I haven't. But I partnered with this, with the Hubert Angel Foundation, and that is exactly how it gets done. They go over there. They do it. They got all the, the big equipment, get over there and do everything. But because I'm a partner, I'm partaker of that grace. I'm partaker of what everything, the blessings that come down upon them for doing what they do, I receive it just the same. It's, it's, it's just how the spirit works just how the spirit works so today let us read the title is power of the word our text comes from hebrews chapter 4 and verse 12 for the word of god is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and it's a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart <laughs> The thoughts and intents it discerns between the thoughts and the intents and our spirit needs parents can you imagine our spirits need parents just like our natural need parents and the word of god discerns all that it says as we get into the festive season it's so important for you as christian for you as a Christian to understand and value the biggest gift you possess, which is the word of God. The word of God, everything is in the word of God. Healing, prosperity, love, life, joy, <laughs> just to name a few. You might be going through the toughest time of your life and you're struggling to see a way out. But I have good news for you. The word, oh my goodness, this is such good news. But I have good news for you. The word of God can lift you from where you are to your next level of glory and success. Can you imagine reading the word and then being uplifted successfully? I'm telling you. In today's scripture, we are reminded of the efficiency of this weapon we possess. So how do you make the word work in that situation right now? First, personalize the word. Personalizing it means that you take it as God's word to you personally and then act accordingly. The word becomes a personal letter written to you by your father with full proof of every benefit that belongs to you. The word won't work for you just because it exists in the pages of the Bible. You have to work it out. Use the word to create and sustain your victories in life. Every time you study, hear or meditate on the word, take possession of it make it yours and it'll become a force in your spirit that causes you to be a powerhouse hallelujah 
The Lord Jesus said, If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. From St. John chapter 15 and verse 7. This means that the word in you, this means that with the word in you, you can ask anything you want. And even if it, even if it doesn't exist, it'll be created. Hallelujah. I love it. Like, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. The word in your mouth is a creative force. It brings miracles. That brings us to our prophetic declaration, which the word in me is my strongest weapon. I can speak anything into existence. And I always have a way out through the word. I shall never lose. Forward, ever. Backward, never. I love that. This even like sounds like a t-shirt quote, right? I might have to add that to my Etsy store. <laughs> I'm telling you, I love you guys. This is so, so beautiful. And we are at, I paused because I thought I heard the baby. Okay, <laughs> but now we are at Philippians, our further study, which is Philippians chapter 2 and verse 12. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but not now much more in my absence. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Fear and trembling, that respect and reverence. Work out your own salvation. It's like an example, working out my salvation with my spiritual parents that I have, Father, that Jesus has led me to. As Father, the, um, in the scripture, it says that Jesus, that God, gives us all pastors after his own heart, right? So that's a gift from God. And some people are running around without a pastor, which is ludicrous because according to the word of God, it's not real. Because the word of God says that God himself gives us pastors after his own heart. Where is your pastor? You think God forgot about you? So if you don't have spiritual parents, therefore, guess what? You're out of order. You haven't received your gift from God. You haven't received anything from his heart. You're running around here raising yourself, which we know how that goes when you see our natural children. So imagine you naturally or you are raising your spirit on your own. How can that be? And then how can it be? You know, when you see natural children raising themselves, you look at them and you be like, where are the parents? Where are the parents in their life? Or you judge them or you speak on them. And it's like, oh my goodness. Imagine your spirit when you don't have spiritual parents. So with that being said, if you don't have spiritual parents, try out six months and watch your life change with Prophet Hubert Angel and Prophetess Phoebe Angel. I'm telling you, your life will change and be different from here on out. Six months. Six months. I gave them three, no, one. When the day I made my mind up to follow them, three days later, I had a black and white report from medical saying that I was healed of herpes. I received healing. Something that the world says is un incurable. So that's why I go hard with prophets. That's why I stand. That's why I'm not leaving. I'm, I am persuaded. I am rooted and grounded. Because the signs and miracles follow those that believe. And imagine if you're in a church, you don't have any spiritual parents, or you're sitting in a congregation where there aren't miracle signs and wonders, then we know God isn't there. It's impossible not to have the presence of the Lord when he's there. Not to see him, it's impossible. But when you don't see him, you know he's not there. So now, if you have a problem, you know you're saved. You know your, your life is lined up. You know you're forward mover in Jesus Christ. But you can't see him or recognize him and you don't have any testimonies. From following this and watching this, your eyes are now open. Put down in the comments below your testimony of how now you can see spiritual things. We have natural eyes, but we also have spiritual eyes. We can see in the spirit realm. The Holy Ghost is with us every single day. We are encompassed about with innumerable number of angels. Why don't you see any of them? Why aren't you bumping into any of them? As of this moment, watching this video, you will be able to see in your dreams, 
man of God will show up. In your dreams, Jesus will walk with you. Visit heaven. Travel in the spirit. It's a beautiful place to be. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoy more, definitely like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me at Alwanza, socializing everywhere on the World Wide Web. <laughs> but definitely don't forget to download your very own version of the Good News Daily. And if you're in USA and you want a hard copy of this, I have some. Definitely just pay for shipping and handling. I told you the book is free, but getting it to you is not. So please, if you want one, I will send you one. Just pay from shipping and handling from Maryland. That's it. Maryland on the East Coast. And you can have it. And all is well. I love you guys. And, you know, baby Sophia, she loves you too. But Jesus loves you more. So until next time, see you guys. Bye.